again, and I know this is obviously not tomorrow from the MP5K okay video, but eh, it took me a while to get some good gameplay with the M16 because straight up it's just hard to use. Three round burst at close range, you just don't stand a chance because your shots have to be so precise. I mean, it's a good gun, don't get me wrong, I love the M16 to death, but it is so fucking hard to use sometimes. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just jump into it, so here we go. Here's my gameplay of the M16. I didn't do amazing, but I didn't really do terrible either. This is by far the best gameplay I got, and I just got so bored. I was like, "Yeah, I'm. I don't. I'm just not going. I'm just going to use this because I want to move on to the next gun." And see, when you watch the video, I noticed that guy to the right on that balcony. I did not see that one playing this. I probably could have got him if I had actually paid more attention and wasn't so focused in. But that's how Call of Duty works. If any of you are wondering why the fuck I have a swastika on my gun, well, I just like fucking around. I mean, come on, we all do it. Sometimes it's a red army symbol. <laughs> I don't even know how the fuck I saw that guy, but yeah, he was pretty good covered. I still got his ass. And I was like, where the fuck is that guy? Does he know where I'm at? But then the guy right there got me. Right here, my dumb ass flashes myself, which is extremely annoying. Yeah, I just kind of waste my grenades right here. I don't, even, I don't even know why the fuck I threw the grenade. I should have threw it like right over there at that door. And that dude with the AUG, like, he pissed me off. He got me two times in a row, but it's okay, because, I mean, I got him back, so. It's all good in the hood and everything. Yeah, M16, though, I mean, like I said, it's a good gun. Its damage is OP, but the problem is you just have to be so fucking accurate. You'll be lucky if one or two of the shots of a burst hit. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I don't like about it. Oh yeah, and also yeah, since this is an Xbox Always Challenge, his link to the M16 video will be in the description below as well. If you guys want to check that out. And make sure you like and subscribe to his channel. He's a really good YouTuber. And like and subscribe to me if you want, please. Because that'd really appreciate a lot. And like I said as before, I'm sorry for the bad quality. I don't really have a good camera nothing to record this with, so I'm having to use my phone for now. But I'm hoping you guys can pull through. And see, most people try to rush, but I'm like, yeah, he knows where I'm at, so obviously I'm going to throw a flash. And that motherfucker right there had a rapid fire MP5K, so if I had rushed him, I would have gotten mowed down. Because M16, obviously at close range, it's a death sentence when they have something that can mow you down in half a second. He would have fucking shredded me. <laughs> try to jump shot me and that just makes that just disgusts me right there who puts a suppressor on an mp5k that's just so dumb and here's one of those what the fuck just happened he jumped over the like he fucking just fucking it's like he rabbit jumped over the fucking rail and shot me i was like you asshole and my knife missed my knife should have hit that too that's the one thing i hate about this game sometimes when your shit hits when it should like, it misses when it should have hit. I 
And then we got the nade. Probably should have thrown a little bit farther. I would have been so mad if that motherfucker had it got me. I would have been like, nah, fuck this game. I'm not gonna lie though, guys. When I was trying to get the good gameplay for the M16, I got my ass handed to me a lot. I was cussing the fuck out of my game. I was like, god damn it. And right here, I don't understand how I don't see that asshole right there. I don't see how my friend didn't see him. I don't see why he didn't shoot at him. There's a lot of things I don't know why happened. But it's Call of Duty, where mysteries are very fucking common. Like, why the fuck... You die to a knife to a leg, but you survive an RPG blast to the face because you have flat jacket. Like I said, this damage is pretty good, but problem is, it's inaccurate. I really don't know why a knife. I should have just went and tried to shoot him. I mean, I had a rapid fire scorpion. I would have got him. There's a guy trying to lay on the ground. Alright, and then he comes up behind me. He's just to say, bitch, that's what you for picking up my fucking gun. And I'm like, yeah, fair enough. What's the one thing about them 16? I do like the way it looks with an underbarrel attachment. Where it has those, like, badass looking, that grill on it. Those, like, those holes and shit, the cooldown. I love the way that shit looks. Although the only real underbarrel I can see being used is the flamethrower for close range and the master key. Flamethrower is better, but if they got Flat Jacket Pro, you're pretty much fucked. Ah, and then double teaming. Don't you just love that shit? And then right here, this motherfucker. And I get a hit marker with a fucking grenade. That's what I understand. How the fuck? I mean, maybe he didn't have flat jacket either. That motherfucker was using like hardline or something. And I ended off the game with a python to the head. If you actually watched it in slow motion, it does not look like it hit his head. It looks like it hit his like fucking arm or some shit. But that's what happened. I mean, fuck. I won. I got the kill cam, so I'm happy. That makes this two videos in a row where I got the kill cam, so that's nice. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Once again, sorry for the bad quality. Hope you guys can get through it, enjoy the gameplay. And uh, as always, like and subscribe, please. It means a lot to me. And uh, next time, we'll be doing the Olympia. And oh, this will be fun. Because I actually had a good gameplay of it, but my dumbass forgot to save it to my profile before it, like, you know, to where like, it gets too old and you can't play it. Oh, I'm so mad for that. So it's probably going to take a while before I get some good Olympia gameplay, but. I guess we'll just have to go through it, but like I said, make sure you go check out Xbox Boy's channel and everything. His link will be in the description below, and uh, until next time.